hello all welcome to my channel jcp data engineering so this is an another video on google bigquery series so in this video i would like to demo or show how we can load batch data into bigquery using different options that is jcp console bq command line tool and also python api client libraries okay so before going to the demo we'll try to understand few concepts okay let's move on to the next slide right so how many ways we can load data into BigQuery? There are different ways or different methods, right? The first one is streaming mode, right? Streaming means it's unbounded data, the data which is coming continuously, right? So example for streaming is like if data is coming from the social networking sites like Twitter, right? Facebook or LinkedIn. So continuously coming data, right? And also IoT devices, right? So this category of data comes under streaming mode. So in order to insert streaming data into BigQuery, you have to pay, right? It's not free of cost. They'll, there is some cost in core with this method, right? So the second one is batch loading. This is widely used. That means you are loading data in batches. That, may, that means once in a day or multiple times in a day, once in a week, once in a month. So that means if you have to load data in batches, so this is this particular uh, processor method comes under batch loading of data into BigQuery, right? So we can load any <coughs> any formatted data. For example, it supports different file formats like CSV, flat files. You can load data from other databases which are available on other clouds like AWS Azure and also other databases or on-premise databases or on-premise data warehouses. You can load data from other project BigQuery, right? So these are the different ways you can load data in batch mode into BigQuery. But anyway, this is free of cost. You don't have to pay anything to load data in batch mode. So the third category is generated data. That means you can load data by using DML commands, right? For example, let's say you are joining multiple tables, right? And you are applying some transformation. You will have to load the data into one of the BigQuery target table, right? You can do that so this particular uh, method comes under generated data right so the fourth one third party application for example let's say uh, there is some application which is uh, basically uh, you have to process the data which is coming by that application you can apply some transformation using any other retail tools like the data flow data proc any other third party ETL tools like hadoop spark right so you can you can choose bigquery as a data warehouse to load the data right so this particular category comes under third party applications right so these are the different ways you can load data into bigquery right so when you are try to load data using third party application there are different connectors available to do that right i hope you understand this concept right let's move on to the next slide so what are the different permissions you require to load data into BigQuery? So these are the uh, minimum permissions an individual user or a group needed to load data into BigQuery. That right? The first one is table create. You need to have a table create permission, table update permission, table update, data permission, and also jobs created. Okay. So in order, instead of giving these permissions individually there are some predefined rules which are already included the, these permissions right for example let's say bigquery data editor which will have uh, create update update permissions data owner will have first three permissions right if you go for bigquery admin this will have everything which includes it's a combination of data editor data owner and also job create permission right and also bigquery user will have this jobs create permission in it if you go for a data editor role or data owner role, you need to give even BigQuery user role to load data into BigQuery. So these are the minimum permission you would require to load data into BigQuery. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay. So what are the different file formats it supports? It supports different file formats. I just mentioned only few important file formats which are widely used across the industry. So Avro, CSV, JSON, ORC, Parquet. As part of this demo, I am using CSV file, right? So 
I would like to do multiple videos on each of these file format. Whenever I'm doing those videos, I'll try to discuss in detail, right? So now as part of this demo, I'm using three options to load data into BigQuery tables, which are already available as part of different data set. So GCP console, PQ command line tool, Python client libraries, okay? Now let's quickly move on to the demo, okay? Now I'm into my Google console page. So this is a data set which has been created using console. So go here, click on these three dots. There are different options available. Go for create table. Okay. So here, if you have to create table, empty table, you can go for this option, but I would like to load data, right? So by choosing this option, upload option, you can create the table and also parallelly you can load the data, right? So that means I'm trying to upload a file which is already available in my local system this is one way if you go for google cloud storage you can try to upload a source file which is already available in this is but but let me choose this option upload file so click on browse so these are the different csv files available in my local machine let me select this csv file in house details open so since it's a csv file you can see this file format is auto selected right Okay, so just click on this. There are many options available. Since my source file is CSV, it has been by default it is selected as CSV. Okay. Now, anyway, I have project data set. Let me give my table name. Right? It's a native table, that means you are loading data into the query table which is already available. Okay, here there are two options available. You can go for one of these. So my source file is a csv file it has a header row in it that means i have my schema already mentioned with a file so let me go for auto detect that means it should detect schema automatically which is available in that if i don't go for this option you can explicitly define the schema okay let me go for auto detect okay no partitioning go for advanced option there are different options available write if empty write append to table that means you are you are going to append data into your existing table right if empty means there is no data available in the table then you can go for this or write table right anyway i'm trying to create the table and load data it's a new table i can go for uh, write or write if empty any of this option right number of errors if there is some problem with the file you can specify if there is an error in two rows or three rows you can specify we'll try to skip those rows and then we'll try to load the data so here I am not going for this option so it's a comma delimited file and header rows this is where you have to specify number of rows for example let's say you don't want your header row right into into my table then you can go for header rows to skip if i mention it as a one it will skip one row but here i don't want to select any now create table and it will create that table and also it will load the data right you can see this table is created right this is a schema it is auto detect schema this is a schema which is already available in that file this is a header row okay details means it will give the table details there are 20,638 rows and you can preview this table right there are this is the data so this is one way to load data into table while creating the table and the other way we can go for bq comma line tool let me go to my cloud shell right so see uh, this is the table which is already available which is created as part of our previous video and this data set is already available and this table also already available let us go for this this is a data set this is the table if you click on this table let's try to preview there is no data available now we'll try to load data into this table using bq command line tool okay let me select this command just run this command here i'm trying to upload file from my local this is the path this file is already available over here if you see this is a file which is available in my cloud shell local file system that's where i'm specifying right so here source format is csv skip leading nodes that means i would like to skip my header because my table is already available i don't want to auto detect any schema over here this is my project data set and table and my file path okay let me just 
run this command it will load the data into this table okay update complete now you can see this is completed this load job is completed let us go to our bigquery try to refresh the page right go to that data set this is the data set this is the table click on this preview you can see this data is loaded into this table this is one way so the last option client libraries so i'm using python to load data into this table which is available as part of this data set okay now let us examine this so this is the data set and this is the table if you see this table is empty now we don't see any data over here now we'll try to load data into this table using our python client libraries now let us go to the cloud shell try to examine this code quickly you can see uh, i'm trying to build bigquery client and then i have to specify my target table name as part of this project as part of this pro data set you can see one second it's getting refreshed yeah see this is the, the a project data set and table which is already available right now i'm trying to configure my job where i'm specifying skip headers because this table is already available i don't want to auto detect my header right so that's why i'm trying to skip my first row that is header row then source format is csv but as part of this task right right i'm trying to load data from a gcs bucket okay this is a gcs bucket which is already available right and the source file this is already available i'm trying to load this file into that table okay come over here that is where i'm mentioning this is uri now you have to pass all these parameters to this load job uh, class or object load job object right so uri table id uri and job config now i'll try to run that method load job dot result so here i'm trying to print how many rows have been loaded into that table now i can run this right bq data load api script this is the script i'm trying to run this center now it will load the data into table it will just print number of rows loaded into that table okay now you can see there are 20638 rows have been loaded into this table just try to uh, refresh this page right this is the data set this is the table you can see details and preview now you can see data has been loaded into this table this is how you can load data into bigquery table using different options we'll try to meet in the next video thank you thank you all